Well, this was you. You walked into the school for the first day of the year for the last time. This year, you're top of the food chain. Leaders, if you will. I hope you're ready. Your teachers start treating you like the young adults you are. But don't worry. It's nothing you can't handle. After all, you are off to high school next year. The purpose of this video is to get to know me, Mrs. Johnson, your science teacher. Pay close attention because there may be a quiz at the end of this video. Let's begin with a brief history. I was born in Iowa and raised in several different places. We moved three times while I was in school. I graduated from Okaboji High School, a tourist town in Northwest Iowa. I played basketball, volleyball, softball, soccer, danced, and ran track. After I graduated, I went to college at Morningside College in Sioux City, Iowa. I majored in secondary science education and danced and ran track there. After I graduated, I got my first teaching job in Columbus, Nebraska. After my first year, I got married and moved here, where my husband is from. I've been teaching here ever since. This is my fifth year teaching. All right, let's meet the fam. First, we've got Josh, my husband of three years. Psych, just kidding. We've been married for four years now. <laughs> He's pretty much the bomb.com. And the peanut butter to my jelly. And then we have Harper. She's 11 months old. Psych! She's almost two now, and she is crazy. She can almost ride a bike without training wheels. Got that going on, and she will climb anything you put in front of her. And, of course, we can't forget Wrigley. He's a year and a half. He's a Border Collie, and he knows some pretty sweet tricks. This is Harper from about a year ago after she just learned how to walk. She loves to keep us on our toes, walk, and run and everything. And since she's learned how to walk, it has been game on. Her sweet smile can sure trick people sometimes because she can be quite mischievous. But seriously, I can't get enough of her laugh. <laughs> I have a lot of favorite things. My first favorite thing is to travel. Beyond that, I love to run, cycle, teach. I love inspiring others. And I love to watch students improve. My favorite thing in the morning is coffee. I love to snowboard and I love trying new things. I love dancing and my husband would tell you that I love binge TV shows. All right, that's a pretty hefty list. So take a second to take it all in and check out this video of me skydiving a couple weeks ago. You might enjoy it. As I told you, I love to travel. I have been bungee jumping in Australia, snorkeling in the Bahamas, cenote jumping in Mexico. I have walked the streets of Rome. I have visited the Blue Mosque in Istanbul, Turkey. We have stood 
near the Parthenon in Athens, Greece. My husband and I took a trip with some friends to Honduras where we went ziplining. My next big adventure is a mission trip to Africa in June of 2016. My dream is to one day live in a foreign country. I mean, how cool would it be to say that you've lived in New Zealand? Hmm? After I'm done hanging out with you cool 8th graders, of course. Some of my mottos to live by are, well, I've got one for myself, and it is to never settle. Never settle for anything less than your best. My second favorite motto is, focused on students. And it is, it's okay not to know, but it's not okay not to try. I have three class rules, and you just have to follow them while you're in science class. My first rule is to be kind. My second rule is to ask questions. My third rule is to keep your promise. Now, I'm going to ask you to make me a promise in your packet while I try to keep mine with you. All right, while you're thinking of your promise that you're going to make for me, I want to tell you my promise for you. My promise as your science teacher is to keep science as fun as I can every day for every student. Now, keep in mind, we'll still have tests and quizzes. I can't get rid of those things, but other things I will try to make as fun as I can. Now, if I'm not keeping up with mine of the bargain, feel free to call me out because I want science to be fun. I feel like my class expectations are just as simple as my class rules. I always expect my 8th graders to live the 8 keys of character. I also expect my 8th graders to be prepared to class. Always have your utensils ready and your science book and notebook and anything you might need for class, including homework, that, homework that's due for that day. Well, that pretty much wraps up my intro to Mrs. Johnson video. Hey, thanks for watching. And I just want to let you know that I can't wait to have so much fun with you this school year.